Hello everybody, happy Friday night. Happy Easter weekend. I hope you're all enjoying life out there in paradise, taking care of yourself and being safe out there. I know some of you people ask me all the time, or, or I should say comment and say that uh, this isn't paradise out here. Well, I understand that the, par uh, the pandemic has turned everybody's lives upside down. Some people have lost everything, and it's just a really, really terrible, terrible situation. However, no matter how bleak it may seem, I have to remind you that no matter what your circumstance in life is, there's always somebody who has it ten times worse than you do. So, be thankful for what you have, and always remember that tomorrow is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's like a chance to start all over again. And no matter how bad things are right now, there's always a brighter day in the future. This too will pass, I promise you. So today I'm going to bring you a little short video of a, a lunch and a dinner, both in the same day. Uh, if you're eating while you're watching this, you may want to uh, finish your meal because the meals I'm getting ready to show you are not pleasing to the palate. I'd also like to remind everybody to uh, go check out a new YouTube channel called Blood on the Razor Wire TV. Chad Marks has uh, just started that channel. He had a 40 year prison sentence in the feds and he did 20 years and got himself out. Since he's been out, he's gotten tons of people released and he's working real hard to try to steer young folks away from a life of crime and imprisonment. So please, everybody go check out his channel and hit that like button and subscribe. Some of you have asked, well, what are you going to do for the weekend, Bob? Well, there's really not much for me to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to download a movie off of YouTube tonight and uh, watch that. Then the rest of the weekend will just be spent going on YouTube now and then, checking out your comments. Because the truth of the matter is, your comments or emails and emails are the highlight of each and every day of my life. So y'all enjoy your weekend, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing out there in that beautiful free world out there? I hope you're all being safe and having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm Bob, and I'm back once again, somewhere in America's wonderful maximum security prison system. And I'm here to show you again what we're really eating in prison. So today is a lunch meal and a dinner meal. I didn't eat the lunch when it arrived, so I figured that I would unveil it along with dinner as well. I'm sure we have a very tasty treat for you today. So, let's go ahead and dig in. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness, looky here. We got a nice juicy little apple here. I will love this. Yum yum. We got a slice of some kind of bread. Store bought bread, that's it. Oh, you're gonna love that. And let's see, what do we have here? I wonder if I can get a better look at this. A little better lighting. Okay, let's see. We have, looks like meat broth and rice. Okay, meat broth and, mmm, I bet it smells good too here. Let me, let me talk about Oh yeah, I love that aroma. My, my. Okay. Let's see, we also have, where's my spoon? There we go. We have 
cabbage. Okay. Great. Oh, don't spill that over there. So, I think I'll get full on this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. One. And two. I got two spoonfuls of cabbage. Oh my, I'm gonna love that. Yummy. And the good old meat pot. Well, let's see. Oh my, I don't really need the spoon for that. Look at that. Just pick it right up. How about that? Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll pass on this. However, I just want you to know that if you decide you want to be a criminal, this is what you get to look forward to. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining or anything, because I'm not. I have the choice on whether or not to eat this stuff. Personally, I'm not going to eat it. I'll eat the apple, and I'll make a ramen noodle soup. You know, but I'm very fortunate in the fact that I have that option whether or not to eat it or not. You know, there's a lot of people in this world who don't have that option. They don't have the choice of whether they want to eat this or nothing else or something else for that matter. You know, they don't have that choice. So I'm very grateful. Well, let's go ahead and see what we got for dinner tonight. Perhaps it'll be a little bit better than that. Oh, okay. We have da -da -da. grease. Okay, we got grease. Let's see. We have one. Okay, this is a little dinner roll, homemade dinner roll. Oh, it's falling apart from the grease. There you go, see that? Dinner roll. Okay, we got one of those. But here's the main course. That is greasy meat rock. Hey. Let me get some light down here so you can get a better look. I believe they would call that one Sloppy Joe, made out of meat rock. Okay? Yum yum. So, they call this Sloppy Joe. Now, look, look at this portion that you have here. Um, again, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining or anything. I don't know what you should get on the Sloppy Joe, but we got one spoon. And we have a second spoon, <laughs> or a half a spoon, whatever. So that's what you will put on this little dinner roll here. There and there you have it. That's your dinner. Now over here we have a little bit of potatoes. And over here, I really don't know what this is. It almost looks like pickle, but it's not. And it's not cucumber, so I, I just really don't know what it is. But we've got a few slices of it, whatever it is. And, uh, and that's a wrap. So, this is what you have to look forward to if you decide you're going to come to prison. My, my. That looks pretty good, but, oh my god, it smells delicious. 
Okay, I'm being sarcastic. I just didn't want to seem like I was complaining or anything, because I'm not. I'm just trying to show you people what you're going to be faced with if you decide to come to prison. Okay? So, I suggest that everybody obey the law, do what your mom and dad tell you, do what your wife tells you, because you know the wife is always right, and stay your ass out of jail. Otherwise, this is what you're going to be eating. So everybody have a great night tonight, and perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm Bob saying good night.